Yes. Thank you. My name is Arthur Nies, coming from the International Atomic Energy Agency in the Marine Monaco. I have a question regarding the IAD-131. We were very surprised that the IAD-131 was still discharged or at very high levels even in July last year. And we had a lot of discussion about what would be the reason. If you take the activity ratios between two cesium radiant clients, they were about one. But you would expect that according to the shorter half-life, IAD-131, this would decrease much, much stronger, much faster. My predictions, my briefings, the member states of the International Atomic Energy Course, that we would expect that within a few weeks, uh, there would be no more IAD-131, but this wasn't true. It uh, was still measured at high levels, extremely high levels in July, August uh, 2011. And I, I wrote in my, my statement, which, is, uh, which was given out by the IEA, that the reactors might still be active. And there was a big discussion about this. Uh, could you give some indication about this? Yeah, I think the uh, steel reactor uh, emitted the materials in July, June, July. I'm not sure about the, I'm not sure about the July, but in July, June we had such a materials. If we look at this kind of a so even with this. Uh, uh, but still, we have a large, even uh, this one uh, vector of half cubic meters or something. So uh, this is uh, uh, coming down to May, then actually July, I'm not sure about the July, but June, still we have such emissions. So as soon as the wind velocity comes, a wind direction comes, this direction, we, we observe this kind of uh, emission. So I wonder is, um, we had the soil measurement in June, so at that time still we observed that the habitat was not from the, the soil measurement. If that is uh, terminated in the April, we couldn't measure that this one, but we still have had that uh, measurement. And still, the data are not totally thoroughly uh, investigated. We have uh, several un 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 remain data, uh, remaining data we need to look at. Some people have uh, those data for uh, around. So uh, we need to take this kind of data set. And uh, also, spectra monitoring posts, we had the damage, as I told them, uh, we couldn't use. But still, someone surviving, but not rescued, recently they, that the kind of data coming. So we will see that data for time and time. Yes. Uh, 
uh, what the direction of the wind direction. In this model result, the wind direction is not deviated from the, the direction of uh, power plant. As soon as power, the, the wind, wind comes from the other direction, model just drop because we do not have a suspended process. But actually, there are a lot of uh, uh, materials emitted from nearby vegetation or soil. That's our speculation, still speculation. So I would like to go back to the question of my colleague from the International Atomic Energy Agency. Because if I understand correctly, the question is not whether in July or August there were release of cesium or whether some measurement of I were still available in the lab, but whether in July or August still were release of pipeline. Because if that is the case, it changed completely the picture of the accident. And that was a question that was never clarified, either by TEPCO or not, by the several reports that you might saw. Because they have you know, there's some evidence about that releasing the, uh, the radiogenic gas you know, from the reactors, not after the uh, uh, so yeah, it's up to the atmosphere. Yeah, to the atmosphere. So, uh, yes, it's a uh, technical measure the concentration around the uh, nuclear power plant. So, then it estimates the uh, release rate just now. So, it's uh, consumptive value reporting. I'm not sure how much uh, just now, but I can put a pound in the website. So, okay. Yes, they measure, the key measure the real concentration in the air. And it from this table, it's a basic question in the following. Several weeks after Chernobyl, it was clear, crystal clear, there were no more releases of iron. If that is not crystal clear in Fukushima, this means that several weeks or months after the accident, still there were fission reactions. That is the question. And that question was presented, as my colleague said, in several meetings of the IAEA, and was never crystal clear. At least for me, it was never crystal clear answer. And that is an important question, because it will change the recipe composition in which of the In the case of Chernobyl, in that case, uh, everything is uh, explored. And so that in, 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 in inside the reactor, there is no eyeliner thing. But in the case of Fukushima, that the 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 fair road in the the fair road, that there might be some possibility to uh, to, to there is in the iodine steel. I'm not sure, but this is my <laughs> key. Okay, yes. Yes, uh, this term is here from Barcelona. Uh, I also want to correct with this. I, I agree with the term of translation. You can have teachers later on, which is hard to believe, but they're not really important so far. That is, iodine has been measured in science maps and so on. Now, is there measurements, observations in Kishima uh, on City Mountain 4 or iodine on those same samples? that would allow you to actually check whether uh, this is satisfied by suspension as you claim. I mean, I, I think this difference between the model and observations here are orders of magnitude, even in the best cases. And that's a lot. Yeah. So you can actually assess whether uh, this was suspension that was done or not, or the uh, direct emissions. <coughs> um, okay. I measured it just as uh, you are doing the activities, and we had all data, but I haven't checked out the one thirty one, you know, well, only I just focusing on the files, you know, had several weeks, but then it is, we couldn't see any just iodine. But uh, but still now uh, we're making the data set, so well maybe I can check your one file maybe. Well you you see people huh? Yeah, but probably just I've heard someone just find a you know, high, I don't know, 31, sometimes in 
do. The Doug said, you know, stay shit. So, well, well, no doubt, maybe I have them outside one. Where are they from? No doubt. Okay. Um, we go next. Uh, someone just already had. Any further question? Okay. Well, thank you very much, Corey.